Hello guys and welcome back to a new Sim series. As you can see by the title of this video, we are doing The Sims 4 Zodiacs. We have a bunch of Sims that we have created, Sid and I have created, uh -huh. and they are based off of Zodiac signs. And if you guys don't know a whole lot about Zodiacs, Zodiacs is just basically based on your birthday and when you were born. And it is from, I don't know, it's like from the stars, right? Just Yeah, it's like the stars that were over you when you were born determines your sign. So basically all of the zodiacs have different traits to them and different like looks to them. And basically, of course, um, sometimes your zodiac might not match what your personality is like or of course what you look like. Just a general category of what each zodiac is. So sorry if that was confusing, but we have made all these zodiacs here and um, it took us a very long time to make them and we would have done a sped through version of us like picking out their outfits and everything and like designing them but it took us about what two days to complete just that first six yeah just for the first six and the reason why there are 12 zodiacs and um the reason why we're only doing six today is because um in a sim household you can have only up to eight or seven people i can't remember um and so we weren't able to have enough so basically we are just going to do six members in this one and then the next episode you will see six other ones and your zodiac sign as sim might be in this one or in the next episode there's 12 signs and four elements and there's three signs in each element and basically if you're going down the list of each of the 12 houses it's just going to go fire earth air and water and so since like if you're gonna say the first four signs are Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer, then Aries is fire, Taurus is earth, Gemini is water, can't no, Gemini is air, Cancer is water, and so forth, and so on. The element your house is in um, helps to determine the traits of your sign as well. So basically today we are going to show you all of our Sims as zodiacs, and we are going to tell them the traits. We're gonna show you guys all of their outfits. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Also, comment down below what your zodiac sign is and like see if the characteristics and traits of the zodiacs kind of fit your traits and personality. So this is our first zodiac sign. Her name is Aries and we absolutely love her. <laughs> so Aries is the first um, zodiac and um, People who are Aries are born from March 21st to April 19th. Their symbol is the Ram, and each zodiac has a different symbol. And their some of the traits that they have is they are very eager, and they are also very quick, and they also they love to be number one. They are very competitive. They are also very stylish and independent. And so some of the traits we gave her. Um, so for her aspiration, this is kind of a weird one. We put bodybuilder for her aspiration because. I don't know, we just thought it would fit her because she is just very competitive and likes, we're just gonna say she likes to work out. I don't know, that's what we chose. And then I have this mod that I installed that is actually um, a trait for each of the zodiacs. And so there's an Aries trait and basically what it does is I'm pretty sure it increases um, some of the traits that they may have. So Aries also, one of, another trait that they have is they can become very hot-headed. So I'm pretty sure this one increases um, they're just hot or er, er, anger without hot headedness. They increase their hot headedness. <laughs> it just increases some of the stuff that Aries traits may have. So we kind of pick some other ones. We put active because she just seems kind of like an active girl. And then we also put outgoing because they are very spontaneous and they're just quick. And I'm pretty sure, don't they like to socialize? Yeah. They like to socialize. So yeah, let me show you her outfits. We gave her these cute little earrings right here, stars and crescents. And we also gave her um, a constellation of Aries, which is basically um, the constellation of when they were born. So we have this cute little skirt, which I kind of already went over. We absolutely love her hair. We think it's so cute. Here is her formal. Ah, oh, this is so elegant and nice. We took her glasses off, and of course we had a running theme of red since she is a fire sign. So we gave her this really nice dark red dress. So for athletic wear, we just gave her this pretty simple tank top and leggings, just some tennis shoes, kept the glasses on her. All right, and then for sleep, we had this cute little shirt that says, we are the weirdos, mister. And I think that kind of fits her just because she's kind of spontaneous and she's kind of hot-headed. So this kind of reminds me of her. Some cute little red shorts 
And oh my gosh, I forgot to give her bunny slippers. Each of my Sims has bunny slippers because I'm obsessed with bunnies. All right, and then for her party wear, we have this adorable little tank top dress, spaghetti strap. We have this cute little gold choker. I changed her hair up a bit because I feel like it'd be kind of cool to just have it like that. It matches the color pretty well. So yeah, we have some cute little sandals. And then last but not least is her swimwear. Just basically a cute little two-piece and it's kind of reddish, burgundy-ish and some glasses. So yeah, that is Aries. Next up we have Taurus. She will explain what Taurus <laughs> is and her traits. So Taurus is an earth sign from April 20th to May 20th. Taurus is represented by the bull, so they're very reliable, they're strong-willed, kind of stubborn a lot, <laughs> and just very down to earth. They're very hardworking. For the aspiration, we chose a successful lineage. And why did we choose that one? I don't know, you chose it. They're just reliable and I feel like they just would like to have a successful lineage. So we just chose that one. We also chose they're good. And then we also put lazy, just, I don't know. It just felt lazy, so I don't know. It, yeah. And then we also have our mod installed for Taurus. So this is the outfit we have for her. We have this suit. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have this really pretty dark wavy hair. We also gave her the Taurus necklace. And then for her outfit, we have this cute little army green jacket with a little white shirt on it that says Levi's. And then we just gave her some cute little blue ripped jeans and some shoes, some tennis shoes. Next is our formal wear and we have this really cute olive green dress, a little roughly at the bottom, some nice high heels. Seems really, really earthy. Of course, we're going along with kind of like an earthy theme since she is an earth sign. Next is sportswear. Gave her this, again, cute little army green camo um, crop top along with, again, some leggings and then just some green shoes. For um, sleepwear, we just did a nice green tank top with some gray sweatpants and, of course, bunny slippers. So for party, we gave her this adorable little rose dress, but I thought it'd be cool for like an earth theme just because the earth has lots of flowers, I guess. <laughs> and <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> okay, and then we also have this cute little green leaf swimsuit. So yeah, we also made her kind of like a thick sim because we kind of researched and they said Taurus are normally like thick girls and it's great. So yeah. Alrighty, next up we have Gemini, which we both personally love. Otherwise for her treats, go ahead and explain them. You dropped the cheese. So Gemini is an air sign ranging from May 21st to June 20th and Gemini are really fueled by imagination, they're very spontaneous, they're very, they have so many creative ideas, they're represented by the double or the twins, they're often very busy, they keep themselves busy and they're yeah. really nice. For her aspiration we made her friend of the world just because she's super outgoing and stuff and then for one of her other traits we put her as a goofball just because... I don't know, I just feel like that fits her. And then for the next, we put, of course, Gemini, because that's her trait. And then we also put outgoing, because they are very outgoing and friendly. So for her outfit, we absolutely adore this outfit. Of course, since she's an air sign, we kind of made everything white and flowy and airy, and we just love it. We also have her little Gemini necklace. We have these really, really cute, like, braids. And we have this super cute little, I don't know, it's like a tank top vest. And then we just chose some cute little silver boots and this super cute little striped skirt. Here's her formal wear. It's a silver evening gown with lots of little silver sequins on it and it's kind of just form fitting and very, very cute. We also gave her like a really pretty gray eye. Next up we have um, athletic wear and we gave her this really cute little blue space t-shirt, some gray leggings and a white hat. Next up we have sleep wear. We gave her this blue tank top and some white and gray on the side sweats and then of course bunny slippers and then for party wear we have this super cute outfit <laughs> a gray cropped um sweatshirt with little rose decals kind of like ties up all right and then for somewhere we also have um just the same swimsuit that we gave aries right yeah and we just gave it in purple also for the last names i don't know if you can see them super well by our our beautiful face might be covering it. Our beautiful faces, excuse me. Otherwise, I'm gonna edit that part out. <laughs> Don't edit that part out. <laughs> Next up is Cancer. 
And here she is. She is so cute. We love her. Cancers are represented by the crab and they range from June 21st to July 22nd. Cancers are super, super emotional. Their emotions tend to flow just like water, which is why they're considered a water sign. They're they have very maternal instincts, they're very nurturing. They have a bit of a shell on the outside and until you get to know them, they can come off as a little bit cold-hearted, but once you do know them, you'll discover that they are some of the most tender and kind people that you meet. So yeah, that is cancer. And then I'll just... <sighs> do you have to be drinking water right now, Jade? I, I, can you go back to sleep, please? All right, so for her aspiration, we gave her a big happy family just because she is very, very nurturing. Her cancers in general are very, very nurturing. And we thought that would be a good aspiration. We also put that she was good. And we also gave her the um, cancer trait mod that I already talked about. And that's going to be the same for all of the zodiac signs. And I also put creative because cancers are tend to be very creative. And they just love to express their creativeness. <laughs> Creativity? Creativity. So since Cancer is a water sign, we made all her outfits blue. So we gave her her cute little Cancer necklace. We just gave her this cute little headband. <laughs> and then the back, this is her hair. I absolutely love this hair. It's so beautiful. We gave her this cute little um, crop top bell sleeve blue shirt. And then it's kind of chambray colored. It is. It's beautiful. I love it. You're good with colors. So I just say blue. And she says chambray. And then we gave her these cute little whitish silver shorts, I was gonna say pants, and then we gave her these sandals which almost every one of my sims has. And then for her formal wear, we gave her also what Taurus has. We had this dark teal dress and it's roughly at the bottom. So for her athletic, we have this cute little Pusheen shirt and as Sin mentioned before, Cancers are very emotional and they cry a lot. Um, so yeah, we gave her this cute little blue sad Pusheen shirt. Alright, next up we have her nightwear. We gave her this cute little crop top just in gray and some like um their cornflower blue. Cornflower blue shorts. <laughs> All right so for Cancer's party dress we have this adorable white little off the shoulder dress and it is just it has some long bell sleeves and it is beautiful. It's kind of short in the back and it's very ruffly which we love and I know it's not really blue but we think it'd just be really good because um we thought it kind of reminded us of what the ocean yeah and just like the sand and stuff alrighty and then last but not least we have her swimwear which is basically just a bikini and one part is white and the other part is kind of a turquoise all right next up we have beef and now we have Leo <laughs> <laughs> Leos are represented by the lion. They're kind of regarded as the kings or queens of the zodiacs. They range from July 23rd to August 22nd. Leos are the, like the natural born leaders. They are very passionate about what they do. They n know how to take control of a situation. They're very overall just very extroverted and and loud. <laughs> yes. So they are also fire signs. So some of the traits that we gave her, her main aspiration, we don't know why, but we just did a friend of the animals because lions like I don't know why just okay fun fact um, at my old elementary school our mascot was Leo the lion so yeah and I never knew about zodiac signs back then so and now I'm like wow that was pretty cool and then we also put self-assured because they tend to be very confident since they love to be leaders and everything and then we also just seemed like she could just be a bro I don't know why just because she's super buff I guess <laughs> and then of course oops I'll just like circle it with your mouth and then for our last trait, we have the Leo one again, and that basically just kind of increases what Leos are like. They are fire signs, so we kind of went with a the red theme again. So we gave her this cute little red uh, tank top along with some nice little blue shorts and some black little van looking shoes. Yeah. Since Leo is represented by a lion, we gave her this big poofy blonde hair that kind of just reminds me of like a lion's mane. For formal wear, we have this beautiful long, kind of a burgundy red. We have some shoes, which you can't really see. For her athletic wear, we have this cute little red crop top and we have some white little shorts with kind of an orange -ish trimming and then just some basic shoes. For her sleepwear, again, it's just pretty basic. We have these red little shorts, a black tank top, and some bunny slippers. For her party wear, we have this super cute red little ruffled off the sleeve dress. Off the sleeve. Off the sleeve. Off the, the shoulder. shoulder. <laughs> and we have some 
fishnet leggings, and some high boots. And last but not least is her swimwear, which is a, just a basic one-piece red swimsuit along with some glasses. For our final Zodiac Sim, um, just for this episode, we have Virgo, and we both love her so much. She's a cutie. Virgos are an earth sign, and they range from August 23rd to September 22nd, and they are represented by the virgin or the triple virgin. Virgos are perfectionists, they like things done the right way, and because they're detail-oriented, they also tend to work hard, they're kind of nitpicky, they like things done a certain <clears throat> way, and they're, they're very sweet, though. They are. Alright, so for her main aspiration, we put nerd brain, and just because since they just love to be everything perfect, we would think they were super smart, and it also says they're pretty smart. For her trait, we have neat, because they are very nitpicky, as Sid said. And then we have the Virgo trait as well, which basically, of course, increases everything. And then we have perfectionists, because one of their literally main traits is perfectionists. Alright, so for Virgo, it didn't really say much about her physical appearance, so we kind of made her just pretty tiny and petite. She has almond-shaped eyes, and we just thought this black hair looked really, really good with her facial features. We gave her this olive green, olive green shirt along with some cute little blue overalls. For her formal wear, we have this cute little jade green emerald green emerald green <laughs> dress and it has a little tie up right here i think it's pretty cute we have some basic white high heels for her athletic wear we gave her this super cute green top and it's very earthy just because it has lots of palm trees on it very lots of tree leaves palm leaves palm leaves and then of course just some black leggings and then for her sleepwear we have this really cute nightgown kind of romper type thingy like a very very light green and then it fades into a darker emerald green for her party wear we thought she'd just kind of wear something simple so we gave her it's not super earthy i mean it kind of is we gave her this cute little black crop top and it has the sun on it and the moon and we think that's really cute for our zodiac sims so we wanted to incorporate that and then we gave her like these just mom jeans. All right, for her last outfit, we have an emerald green swimsuit and then we just gave her some cute little black sunglasses. All right, so here are all our Zodiac Sims. All right, so we're going to go find a house on the gallery and we're probably just gonna game play for a little bit. In the next episode, we will finish off the Zodiac signs and then we will get started into playing the actual game. All right, you guys, so we are back at the house with all of our Sims and I know I didn't explain this, but there's a dude here and his name is Beef because we just had a little inside joke about that. And I feel like it'd be good to like cause some drama. This is the house that we moved him into. I just um, got it off the gallery. The person's name will appear on screen of who created it. So big thank you to them. We kind of edited it. We add, added some rooms. I'm not gonna do a huge gameplay today just because this has gone on for a pretty long time. But this is going to be, which one? Gemini. Gemini's room. And then Taurus is going to be in this one. We might kind of um, change it a bit. This is going to be Aries room. This is gonna be Virgo's room. And then downstairs, it's a really cool house. And then we just have the like kitchen here, little office here, living room here. And then if we go downstairs, we have Leo's room and we have Cancer's room. And then, which is awesome because she is a, a water sign and it's really cool since she is by like the pool. Cause I guess the pool like extends downstairs. It's really cool. Next episode, we're going to do the rest of the Zodiac signs and we are going to show you how we created them and we might just show you their house and then in the third episode we will do a gameplay and I think we're just gonna switch off from either one we'll kinda see how it works out this is gonna be a challenge for you guys we want you guys to try and guess which zodiac signs we are in Sid is in one of these six and I am in the other six so you might have to do some research about that and if you get it right then we'll comment and let you know of if you got it right or not so yes, but we hope you guys enjoyed this series and we're going to be continuing this on. I am going to stop doing the Disney Princess Challenge just for a little while. I might do a couple every once in a while. So I'm so happy to have Sid here with me and she is most likely going to be in the rest of these Zodiac videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we love you guys so much. Keep it sweet. See ya. Bye. Bye.